Greetings, my wannabe adventurers. The name is Georgiana Bones. You can call me George. Some would say I'm a nomadic purveyor of rare antiquities. Others would say I'm a putrid pilferer, a lazy larcenist, an enterprising embezzler, a crazy klepto. You know, a thief. My latest financial pursuit has me on the trail of Sir Dancelet. If my research is correct, the entrance to a cave full of rare money makers is somewhere on this hill. Entry number one. Sir Dancelot was a noble warrior from the final days of the Knights Templar. He was also a great dancer. Legend has it that as King Philip IV of France was carrying out the demise of the Templar order across Europe, Dancelot snuck across the English Channel with powerful religious relics. Being a brilliant war strategist, he set up a series of tests to ensure only a true knight could successfully retrieve them, supposedly from a secret location in southeast England. Unfortunately, Dancelot was captured some time later and burned at the stake in Paris. Tough luck. Entry number two. I found a historical reference of a Templar site dug into a chalk mine not far from the cliffs of Dover. There are many such places known across southeast England, some of which date back to the time of the Templars and earlier. The chalk was easily carved away with simple hand tools. Entry number three. Dancelot wrote to his parish priest with the same clues to make it safely through the challenges. Number one. A true knight always pushes before he pulls. Number two. Always look first before entering. Number six, the Guardian is unbeatable with the sword. I brought this chisel. You know, just in case something needs chiseling. Made in Spain. Pushing with all of her might, George manages to slide the stone away and reveal the entrance to a cave. Upon peering into the cave, George discovers a deep pit extending into darkness below. It's a repelling rope for climbing down cliffs and that sort of thing. George secures her rope with a stake and successfully grapples to the bottom of the pit. There's a sword and a stone here. How terribly cliché. The sword appears like it could be freed with the right leverage. The sword moves down. The sword moves up. I think that released the sword. <laughs> that was a pretty lame puzzle. George pulls the sword from the stone. I hope this doesn't come with any royal implications. Where did this guy come from? Are you living down here, old chap? Do you speak English? Only if you insist on talking before I kill you. Who would enter this hallowed hall must vanquish me in mortal combat. Who are you? 
I am Sir Josephus Numinus, a noble knight of the Templars. I have sworn to defend the holy relics in this cave until the return of my uncle, Sir Dancelot. What have you been doing down here? I have been staying ever vigilant with only the magic hacks to keep me company. Nevertheless, I am afraid I cannot allow you to pass. Dancelot told me the enemy's trickery knows no bounds. So, no matter what you say, I will not leave my post. Magic hacks? Sounds expensive. What is with the ridiculous armour? You forget to ask the wizard for a heart? It is you that is strangely dressed for a knight. You wear too fine a leather jacket and... Ugh, shoelaces. You heathen tree worshipper. I hate to break it to you, but uh, your uncle's been dead for over 700 years. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> he only left but a few days ago. Don't you think it's strange I'm in such unfamiliar clothes? What if I could tell you the future? A few hours later. So wait, they wanted you to stay home and wear a mask in public. That is madness. It's a very compelling argument, but I still think you must be the devil. Where were we? I challenged you to a duel. Ah, yes. I shall think on it, Tin Man. Until then, you godless cretin. Ah! You brutal bitch! Ha ha ha! Nobody expects the Spanish chisel. I thought I just killed you. What kills me only makes me come back exactly the same. A near-perfect replica of the Holy Grail. The original was dropped down a pit by an ageing archaeologist. A great bargain worthy of casting off your shoes. Hey there, dead guy. Welcome to my menagerie of powerful religious relics collected by the Knights Templar. Please have a look around and let me know what you think of your new home. What, what do you mean, my new home? You are now my eternal compatriot. No thanks. I think I'm going to leave now. You can check out any time you like. But you can never leave. What is all this crap? I'll never be able to sell this on the dark web. The relics can never cross the Great Seal. Don't worry. I won't bother with these Poundland knickknacks. He'll strike you down with lightning if you do. We gotta get out of this place. Cause, girl, there's a better life for me and you. <laughs> Thank you.